This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, we're going to create a button component. And to get yourself started, I need you to open the ui.fxp document located in your exercise folder. Now, when you're creating components in Catalyst, one thing you got to understand is that they can be created in a number of ways. You can create them from artwork that is sitting on the artboard. You can create them from grouped artwork. You can actually even create them from folders. And the simplest component of them all, of course, is the lowly button. And in this exercise, that's exactly what we're going to do, create a button component. If you come on over to the button component, which is right here with the word up, you can select it and you'll notice that the HUD immediately lights up and we can choose to make that a button component. Now that would be a huge mistake. Main reason being is that this came over from fireworks and in the fireworks artwork, you'll notice that the up is actually in register with the over component. So the over component is under it. In that case, what you wanna do is take a look at the uh, folder here and you can see that the up, over and down states are actually in a folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the layers in that folder and convert that whole folder of objects to a component. And that's going to be a button component. So what you do is you choose a component. And in this case, we're going to choose button. And we're going to give it a name. I usually just give them a name that makes sense to me. And you click OK. And you can see that it immediately shows up in your uh, layers panel. And if you go to the project library, it will be in the uh, components panel as well. If I open this up, you can see there it is. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify the various states of the component. Now, as soon as you select it, you can tell it's a component just by clicking on it on the artboard because the HUD lights up and it gives me the states. Now, if I click the up button here in the states, you notice I get the up over down disabled states. And you can always get back to the artboard just by simply clicking on the UI button here at the first element in this, what they call a breadcrumb trail. Or you can click this little uh, arrow here and that'll bring you back. Now in this case here, I don't wanna use that. Another way you can do it is what a lot of Catalyst developers do or designers will do is they'll just double click on the component. And this is editing in place. And you can see that by double clicking the component, everything but the component gets grayed out. So you know that you're editing in place. Even the HUD is grayed out. And if I click on the component, you can see that I can actually optimize the artwork inside the component. This is already a rasterized graphic, so I don't need to worry about that. So I got up, over, and of course, if I roll over, the word up is gonna appear. This is not a good thing. So I'm gonna to come to the layers panel, and you notice just the button layer is selected. And I'm just gonna turn off the visibility of the up and down states. You can see there's the word over. So there's up, over, and yes, if I select the down state, I can just turn off the visibility of the up and over states. And disabled, I can uh, gray this out. I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to leave it alone. And I'm going to come back to the uh, artboard. And there's the component. Now, the problem with components is you can't test them. You can you know, see what they look like, but you can't test them. Does this button do what I told it to do? So what you want to do is just test it. Command return or control enter if you're on a PC. And what that will do is it'll compile the Swift and then it will build the project, open it up in a browser. And you can see there's the project in the browser. And if I roll over the up button, there's the over state. And if I click on it, there's the down state. And if I roll off, it goes back to up, over, down. So this does exactly what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna quit Firefox to return to Catalyst. And in the next exercise, we're gonna deal with another type of button, this one down here, the toggle button. In the case of a toggle button, there is more than the three states that you're used to up, over, and down. Actually, several of them. And we'll get into those in the next exercise.